I feel like I was not ready to talk about it. even now I don't think I want to talk about it at all I, I think I process everything very very late that I could not differentiate myself from the work I was just so down I could not get myself to work hello hi you guys I look quite rough I know this is not how I begin videos but I have been shooting since morning. I started at 1 and it's what, like 9 o'clock now. I've had a long day. I've had this makeup on for a lot of hours. My lipstick is worn off. It's kind of actually still there. I kind of shot up lipstick campaign only today. It's the same lipstick. It's a Maybelline new vinyl lipstick if I'm not wrong. And I've had like a full-blown dinner and the lipstick is still on. Not sponsored. Just saying, I just shot that and that was one of the claim and I had and I did not move but um, anyways hello hello hi you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel I'm Akanksha so in this video I think this video is was long overdue at least for according to me it was long overdue because I wanted to do this video since a really really long time at least easily for three weeks now but something has not even three weeks actually it's been more than that i think four to five weeks even like before my sister went i planned this video because i did want to talk about uh, stuff because i've like not sat down and like you know spoke like one-on-one -on -one of what has what is happening what has been happening in my life and stuff like that so i wanted to do that but then i just kept postponing it like so much constantly because i honestly i feel like i was not ready to talk about it. even now i don't think i want to talk about it at all at least a few things because if I don't know, it's it's just a weird headspace I am in right now, but I feel like if I don't talk, I cannot move past this because I am stuck. You guys know that I've not been consistent for the last, you know, two, three weeks and uh, here's why. So I feel like I want to tell all these things and then start posting my regular content for some reason, but then I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that and it's like a mess. So right now, I don't even have what I like in planned out or what I want to talk about. I just wanted to sit and talk, give you a life update about what has been uh, happening. Whatever comes to my mind, I want to talk about it. I might miss out on a lot, out on a lot of things and later like when I'm editing this, regret that I should have so told this also. But anyways, I thought I'll do like a unre un get unready with I can't talk. First off, again, don't mind how my makeup looks. I've had a wrong long day. I actually wanted to film in this um, outfit but now I feel like I want to change because I want to be really comfy. I think I'm going to talk for really long and uh, this is going to kind of make me not feel so comfortable. So give me one minute. Let me just go change. Okay, got into my amazingly comfy <laughs> friends um, t-shirt but you know funny thing i used to watch friends like every day it's it's my it's still my comfort zone but i don't know i just stopped watching friends for some reason i'm into brooklyn 99 now and i watch this so much uh you know more often i've been putting it on repeat and i'm like where did my love for friends go it's still there but then i think i'm just like you know phasing into a new era <sighs> I don't know why I'm so breathless, man. I'm, my, I'm telling you, the past one month, my, I have been like this. It's just, I'm, I don't know what is wrong, honestly. I just don't know. That is the whole point of this video. I feel I don't know what is wrong. But anyways, I'm going to use a wipe and micellar water to like remove my makeup today. I generally use a cleansing balm, but uh, doing it in front of the camera would be very messy. And I really want to talk properly. And like removing part, if I do have to do with the cleansing balm, I have to get it done with like in a minute. So like, with the wipe, I can do it slowly and talk to you so i'm anyways using the garnier micellar water i'll link everything i'm using in the description uh, box so let's start off from when my sister has come actually like she she arrived in may and i was actually very worried that when she comes i'll be quite unproductive because that's what happened when i went to us also i'll, I'll work so much and i did not work so i was like very scared but um surprisingly like there were i had a lot of off days but i managed to do my work very well and uh, i was very proud of it and i was like going on a roll i was on roll i was putting on good content instagram youtube i was so worried i'll be inconsistent on youtube because they, you know youtube does take more time than instagram for me like to edit and put 
and stuff so i was like i probably might miss being consistent or something like that but i've done everything and i was so productive and like i was on a run on a roll basically the entire may june july the entire period my sister was actually here i was quite productive and uh, then in the end i was kind of like you know slacking and all because i was like okay now she's going and i was getting sad and something like that but i thought you know once she's gone and all i will uh, get back to my uh you know original routine i was i was waiting to go back to working out because i have not like properly worked out in like a long time like since i went to uh us i think since november i did not actually properly worked out even i uh, so i was like you know i can't wait to getting back to working out because my body was like you know honestly not liking me just sitting at home like i was not actually just sitting but constantly going out somewhere we're constantly doing something so that's the reason i did not get time and honestly it's like uh, for everything i do with her it's i'm like it's temporary it's temporary because i know that she's eventually going to go so i used to be like you know okay fine if i miss this and i take her to say here it's fine it's fine it's fine and i used to do that constantly or like if something i have to start i'll be like you know once she's gone i'll do it um i don't know it's just like procrastination at this point honestly that nothing else so i was like that and then um once my sister left i don't know like it so i'm a person i don't process my uh, stuff like very instantly i i think i process everything very very late and that kind of i don't know if it's good or bad but it always worked for me like the pain does not hit me like instantly it like i think i don't know i just have this um, mechanism in my brain that when something happens it's at that point i don't like take it in or it does not like hit me so much but eventually like you know 6 months down the line or something it kind of comes back to me but because it did not happen like right at that moment uh, it like it's not as intense so i kind of can take it like um you know well if that makes sense so basically i kind of keep myself busy when it happens like the 6 7 months and then kind of when it you know le- get gets less intense i you know deal with it so that's i think how i've always been and um, i thought that's how i'll deal with the situation which actually happened so what happened mainly was you saw in my vlogs that one of my cousin was here so they were here for like a month they came after 5 years my sister came she also came after 5 years though i met her like in the us her coming to india was like a very very different equation for us okay so she was here i was all so happy so um i don't know i think i was very very secure when my sister was in india for some reason because like back when she left um i was a child i was also in college i was in pune she was here so it was not uh, so that the equation was kind of really different and i my sister and i have four years difference so like that time only like when she was about to leave i just started knowing like you know the world and stuff like that so like we started having a little bit of you know our sister secrets before i used to go tell parents everything so we never really had that adult bonding uh, period so when i went to us again it was not like our home so when she came here it was a very different dynamic and i felt so at peace so at home i think one thing i've realized um, is that if my sister is around i am so um, uh, what do you say uh calm and not calm. I, i i don't want to say calm calm kind of comes in a very different like but i feel i'm um i let it go like i feel like i generally i am the responsible first person or at least i take the responsibility i feel like i do it so like i'm always on alert whenever i'm going out with anybody no matter like what but when my sister is around i feel like i let the guard down because i feel like if, so i am naturally like you know responsible so like i do be that but then i don't like have to be very strongly because i know if i also have something happens there's one person to take care of and that's my sister and i think that's a dynamic um, i only have with uh, a very very few people in my life and i realize that i have that with my sister so like you know during my birthday or uh, stuff like that when we used to go out and all and i used to, like she's there bolo to i'm like okay fine i know that it's it's all going to be okay for some reason so that was there and then um so anyways basically my cousin all of all of them uh, left so like first my cousin left next day my sister left and then this the most surprising and shocking thing was in within 3 or 4 days of my sister leaving my best friend uh, raksha you guys know her you guys have seen her in my vlogs one of my like one of my best test 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 friends and like the only really really close friend i have uh, uh, since like you know 10 years plus now in hyderabad and she left that was my biggest biggest hit i'm telling you all of this so like i think for my sister my cousin and all though it hit me i was kind of all, always like we knew right like i knew that basically 
she is going they are going to end up leaving and stuff like that so we do treat it like temporarily but um, when raksha's thing happens so like i'm really really happy and i only pushed her to go as well because i know she needs that she needs to get away from uh, hyderabad she needs to go she needs to study she wants to do her masters and stuff like that but i mean do you know that it's good it still affects you right like the reality of her going is so different for her and her the reality of her going is so different for me because um like whoever leaves it's okay for them i feel like you know whoever stays back in that particular place uh they only get most affected because obviously they are still in that surrounding and that is the routine they are used to and i think um, raksha leaving is one of my biggest biggest hit even right now at this point when i start talking about it it uh really affects me now it's i think it's almost what today is yeah it's almost a month that she left but like even right now when i think about it i kind of tear up but i want to not to that and talk to you properly so uh, raksha's thing literally happened in 15 days you guys like she decided to go and something like that she uh, she applied she got her college form she applied for visa she got her visa she got a visa she booked her ticket and she left in like three freaking days like we had no time like raksha and i also had no time to like talk or do anything we were just like okay this is what needs to be done so this is what we need to do and then that's how it was. was and we just had to like you know she needed to go in this intake for whatever reasons those are like not relevant at this point but then she left so uh now i did, i did tell you like i do process like things really late right like that's how even for the biggest of uh, most painful things or like this things like that, that's how i've always processed but i don't know why when it came to all of these people uh leaving it i think just hit me so badly so badly because like for me raksha is one person like you know even when i was in pune and stuff like that or when i went to us or something like that i for me as a person i i'm always used to having raksha in hyderabad no matter where i go i know if i'm coming back home like home home with my parents like in hyderabad i know raksha was always there so to have the feeling that now she's not going to be there in hyderabad anymore i think i could not accept it i don't think i still accepted it um i don't know when it will hit me because i'm telling you it's just been a month uh, though it feels like it's been such a long time uh but it's also like you know it's not been a month i don't know it's it's a weird combination of things i'm going through uh so like her thing kind of hit me so instantly like when she left i was like so freaking uh, now i'm like what am i supposed to do like being like after i came back to hyderabad i think raksha and i got so much more closer i think we both of us are very emotionally uh, dependent on each other also like if something is wrong we are low or something we meet each other and it's kind of like a huge huge refreshment and i think it's always been and it's the it's like that uh, for both the parties like for raksha and for me and uh, when i knew she was going and stuff like that i i honestly i'm telling you i could not tell anything to her i was like okay like you know this is what is supposed to be done you know just be careful and stuff like that and then so once i dropped her in the airport and i came back on the way back i just could not handle it like my friend was there with me uh, he was dropping me home and uh, i just like you know broke down i'm like i don't do that so generally me as a person i'm telling you i i kind of like take things slow i kind of distract myself and then when things become like you know a little subtle i kind of deal with it and that's how it's been with i'm telling you with all the things so like when raksha went i thought it'll be the same thing i think i i thought i'll get busy with work i'll be like just working and stuff like that and then i'll not realize and then later when it comes upon i will definitely obviously there's a sadness there but not as uh, you know much or something uh, but it, that did not happen so what happened once she left i th- i knew like she was going to leave so one day raksha uh, navya and i were sitting and i we were talking about it and i was like i think after chinni and all these people leave i think i really will uh, need a break so let's go somewhere so at goa tickets were already booked so once raksha left uh, i thought like i have to work for that next 2 3 days once like because uske baad i'll go to goa and uh, i'll need a break okay but once raksha left i could not could not work and this is one thing i think i've been struggling with a lot and i've always struggled with that and i always try to work towards it i think th- that's why i'm telling when those three months when my sister came and it, i did not did not affect, affect my work i loved it i honestly loved myself because me as a person uh, being um, 
this individual person who does like instagram and youtube it's me as a person at the end of the day who does this right like though it's business i feel like for um, it, it's a very thin line you guys this uh, social media or influencer thing is because you as an individual invest so much you, but then um, you know there is of course a personal life and a public life uh, basically a business life but i feel like i've always struggled to differentiate me from my work so like if me is affected my work is definitely definitely affected and that's one of my biggest 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 con and i all i try to like you know it not be there i think it's getting better but initially that used to be so bad and again i think i hit that initial stage right when this happened that i could not differentiate myself from the work i was just so down i could not get myself to work it, i don't know you could call it discipline you call it whatever but i just could not get myself to work and i did not after that and i went to goa and go i tried to I can go when I went on I was mentally prepared that you see like this time I'm I need a break I'm not vlogging I'm not doing anything because I was drained I did not just wanted to do like anything so I thought I did take my vlogging camera and go I just thought like if I feel like it then I will vlog it or else I'll just like let it be and I have ended up not feeling like it because one one day one one story happened like I really love that trip but there were so many beauties there were so many nice things which have happened and all those beauties made me like I ah, fuck it I'm not vlogging and it happened so like that only uh but um yeah so that happened so I went to Goa then I came back I was like you know after goa i feel like working but after goa also it was just not happening in goa i was almost like now i felt so bad for me poor thing now i obviously knew that um, you know i am going to get affected like post all this like even during um, when my sister was there like she sees things she sees things right she lives she lives very close to me we meet so often so uh, now i was like it's okay for every time like literally we were in this uh, bar um in goa we were just sitting chilling all of the sudden raksha texts me like you know uh, i don't know why been, i've been constantly thinking about you like i really need to see you i really miss you karke so all what i was holding in for that past like one week or 10 days before that it just like in that bar and i'm sitting and uh, crying and i'm like uh, i'm like akanksha no you can't like basically i'm trying to control and everything but then obviously i'm in a bar i've been there sitting there since a while now it's like it's okay it's okay it's okay and all this is so like go i'm telling you it was ups it was down so everything it was all sort of thing so i did not blog anything in goa so i basically do not have content all this the basically the entire justification of what, what i'm giving right now is to tell you why i did not upload my videos actually um so goa it happened that then i came back from goa i was like okay now i will shoot like basically instagram also i'm not posting you guys not only just on youtube instagram also i stopped posting i don't have a lot of content i've not filmed proper stuff in a while um i just don't know like it's i'm not getting the ideas i'm not motivated and that's not happening so i did not do that i was like okay goa ke wapas aane ke baad i'll be doing that then after i came back still nothing no inspiration no creativity no motivation nothing and i just tried to film something i posted it uh, but then it did not like you know work out i did not feel like it so i took that one week gap and then again what happened i was like okay now after this one week now it's been high time it's been 2 3 weeks now i worked i really have to work i started working and one day i filmed like full fledged i filmed so many three or four videos that day and the next day i got extreme high fever like extreme extreme high fever and uh, i again could not work for one i i, I don't fall sick easily like i think it's been years that i got fever so for me to get like one i got 101.5 temperature for like 2 3 days i had that temperature uh, i got tested for dengue but fortunately it was not it was just some viral fever but i was pretty sick so like the last again entire week went so like tuesday i posted even i was sick i thought keep tuesday like i got sick on saturday then i still managed to edit a video and post on tuesday thinking ki like you know i'll get better by wednesday I'll post and like you know again edit uh, like film something and post up by friday but i just could not do it friday also i had a shoot i still like that day only i started feeling better and i had to go to that shoot i went to that shoot and i came back and today like honestly after like a long time i'm sitting and filming like a full fledged youtube video after ages you guys i'm telling you i'm telling i don't remember like when i filmed i think the last uh, full fledged youtube video what was it i think you should only see on it you i think and i'm sure it's been over a month that i filmed one but yeah anyways that's how why i've been inconsistent on uh, uh, youtube like one of the reasons why i was inconsistent so that was a big hit for me let me just first go wash my face so the so i always had uh, i think this feeling since uh, um since the past 3 years especially since i left college and stuff like that that you know none of my friends are close to me like in hyderabad 
I ha- I don't have like my closest set of friends not at least like most of them are every like scattered everywhere nobody stays like close to me here like that and I think I always had this strong very very strong feeling of that that you know I don't have my closest set of friends near me except for like you know one or two like Raksha Navya and stuff like that and um, so like when Raksha left it's not her fault or anything but I think I just like went this um, through this very um, um I think uh, why does god have to like you know take away the closest my closest set of people away from me always like already all my college friends are away and that has been a hit and I think I've repeated that a hundred times that you know um my college friends are away and then when this uh, Raksha thing happened I think I just got really mad that why does it have to happen to me why are my closest friends only moving away from me and stuff like that because it's hard you guys especially when you grow up especially when you're adults and especially you're working you're busy and you have careers it's not easy to like you know get new friends and friends are so vital at least for me I'm I'm like you know very close to my friend and I uh, depend a lot on my uh, friends generally not like depend in like any other way but I like depend in a way to spend time you know to hang out I think it, I love spending time with my friends and stuff like that so uh, especially for peeps uh, and some I'm not a person very outgoing person I can go right randomly anywhere you know make friends and stuff like that so it's difficult right especially when you like you know are like a full-blown adult with a career and etc you can't really make friends like you know how do you make friends honestly like in college all you have is spare time so like all you do is chill with your friend and that's how you become close when you grow up it does not work like that and especially when you're not like in a set up atmosphere like I don't go to an office I don't do a nine to five for me to like you know chill with hang out with those people every day and become friends with them so it's not a easy uh, thing to make friends like as you know at least for me it is not so like I was in this full-blown uh, um I think I still am that you know why do my god has to take off my closest set of people and make me like be here all alone I think I still I I, I do want to think about why why he's doing it or like you know what this is going to teach me but I think I still not that till that point I'm still in the point of that term that I'm sad that freaking all of my friends are leaving so when all these three people left together I'm telling you that it basically took a lot of hit on me and another very overwhelming thing which I've been doing in my uh, life is that I got my moon in like May right like when my sister arrived moon also arrived and uh, I don't know like it's just been very 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 overwhelming since the day he has come home I've not had mental peace I just like I'm a person I'm very sorted okay I don't take faltuka tension I don't take um, burden or something I live my life very like you know as a thoda carefree like very nicely as a and but then since he has come I mean I do I did know that my parents don't want a dog but I thought some for some reason they'll kind of get used to it but they are not those days do so much like my dad takes him on walks my mom feeds him food they're doing everything but they're still not able to wrap their head around the idea that the, you know a dog some mischief is going to be there because and I know like it's not fair for to me to blame them but so anything happens there's this constant taunts and I hate taunts in my life in my house I'm that person I I try not to like you know make a mistake so that I'm not blamed for anything and that's how it's always been so they don't say anything to me but since he has come it's like constantly like they're blamed, like taunting me and stuff like that and it's been a lot and he as a person if at least he listened to me and he's behaving properly it would have been easy but then he is so such a high very very high energy dog and he's been having some behavior that shows like in the past today like, if you look at my hand you guys like I'll just show you look at this at this like if this is his bite he literally bit me like you know he grabbed my hand because he has extreme resource guarding issues can you see all these marks is all moon only and my parents are obviously it fair enough that they're getting mad because obviously they don't want their daughter to like be seen hurt because he is getting extreme extremely aggressive when he's having this like resource guarding is his biggest biggest con and I'm honestly very scared at this uh, point by him we are trying to train him but it's just not working out and it's just a lot I don't want to like give him up but it's just too much and uh, it's 
like when my sister was here it was easy because you know both of us used to take care of him and stuff like that but then i think it's easier to take care if you have a partner like at least somebody who understands like dog psychology and stuff like that but for me honestly it's been so overwhelming and i'm like just like constantly again this is again an emotional thing right i've invested so much of my time and emotion and everything in him because i love him so much but it's just been having uh, this that he bit me two times so it's gonna kind of become a little toxic uh, thing now and that's like a whole different story which has been going on it's constantly going on it's still going on it happened today as well even right now actually i'm filming this video and he's not well and my mom constantly like every time he's not well she like you know you only have so much work why did you get him you can't take care of him it's just like a whole thing so that has been happening i'm telling you honestly since may i've not had like mental peace at all like constantly like you know there's something that's been going on and stuff like that with him it's something like it's been one and uh, that's uh, that about him and um, like even when i was like you know on this break of why i'm not able to work and like stuff like that when i sit and think about it like of course the main thing is i'm not able to differentiate myself from work uh, so obviously that's a big issue and the main issue is also i think i'm in a very um i i, I feel like thoda uh shy admitting this but i'm like oh well like my, i told everything might as well uh say this also that i i think i'm undervaluing my job a lot i think uh, especially when i'm not two different topics okay one is i'm undermining uh, myself my job a lot these days and two is um, i am if i'm not working then i don't value myself like two different things two different points i think i'm struggling with a lot first one is like doing these videos and stuff like that i think i'm just like i know the amount of work it goes into it i know i do so much work i know like you know it's my full time job it's a traditional it's not a traditional job so it's not going to be like you know i do this and this it's get it's over i know that but i still don't um, I respect myself for some reason especially when i see all these people like doing so many things i think it's a constant struggle actually the entire fucking generation is going through uh that you know not the feeling of not doing enough so i to feel like i am to just making videos now people are doing like all these big businesses and stuff like that and you know um you know making a difference like in some range or something like that and i am just like sitting and making videos like i think i'm like in a very dark hole of that of undermining myself i don't know why i am i think it's always been there like you know i'm just doing youtube stuff like that but i never like really it never really came to me like up front but i think lately i kind of feel that a lot and that's a very very stupid thing to do because i know how much i work uh, i know i can do more obviously but um i i know i'm doing good enough as well so it's just that i i don't like hustling like at least i don't like that hustle culture basically so i have a very healthy balance of my work and my stuff but i think this seeing this constant like uh, people do so many things or like people earn so much everything like this and stuff like that this is like this constant uh, pressure that you know i am not doing enough i also have to do that i'm wasting my time like every time i'm sitting like in one hour so like this three weeks i'm telling you know so i was already going through like this pretty shitty thing like emotionally and everything because of a lot of th different things these are few things i mentioned you but there's so many other things which happens uh, back end also that um, i'm going through all this so i'm not and because of all this when i'm not working i feel more shit that i'm wasting my time and not working so if i'm not working i feel like i don't value myself on the adult once if one is already i don't my value my work but even if if i don't do that work also then i don't value myself as well i don't know why the the self value or the self uh, importance i have of myself i'm just keeping in like external things see being productive i don't think it's about being productive also because i have those days like you know i understand the difference between like are you have to write it's a productive day it's not a productive day but i think this is a very dark hole that if i'm not working then then this is um I'm not able to like you know look at myself as well and uh, uh I should not be like that I know that but that's something I've been struggling as well and I thought well you know tell you whatever like you know I'm telling everything today I think that's something I need to deal with I I think I need to go to therapy or something and uh, deal with all this shit because honestly I I do need somebody to talk to and uh, right now 
raksha not there like you know anybody like all my friends away i i and no more no, no, more than that i think therapy is just like a way of venting in a way that you will not vent anywhere else like it's just a, if not anything i see therapy as that one hour for yourself where you sit and cry because honestly i don't give myself separately when do i take time like when else will i take time for that one hour to just sit and cry and you know vent i do feel um so like you know if not anything it, at least it works for that basically it therapy obviously does a lot more don't get me wrong but i'm just telling like if not for anything that one hour to just sit and cry only makes you feel so much more uh, nicer and relieved i want to but again i'm telling you i think i'm not ready for it um but yeah it's just again a loop i'm going on in a loop and again and again and again uh then what else i'm almost done with my i try to do my skin care so slowly because i have so much to talk but it is one more thing is i think i'm going through a very uh, this kind of phase like i just told you like when my sister was there i was like you know super uh, calm and like comfortable and stuff like that so uh, i think i need one person responsible in my life for some reason it's not like you know all my friends are like irresponsible or something but somebody i can completely trust with my gut that you know if this person is there i can let loose and i can be whatever do whatever it's not like i do anything like it's just that i don't have to always be on alert i'm that person i don't know why it's in very instinctive instinctive for me to be the responsible one to look out to take care like even if i'm going out or do anything i'm generally that uh, person with when i'm going or doing anything but i i don't know i just feel like because of all this i'm like extremely exhausted uh, emotionally i need, i want somebody to take care of uh, me because i'm very tired of taking care of uh, everything i feel all the time i i think it's just like a quick reset it's not even like i want somebody to take care of me constantly but sometimes when that person one person who always takes care of things is is tired it's good to have somebody to pick up the slack when they are not okay right like i don't know if make that if that makes sense i don't i feel like i need somebody like you know i can rely on it i'm telling you honestly it could be just a phase but at least at this phase i feel like i want to be that uh, extremely spoiled uh, a uh, brat and i don't want to like you know do anything not spoil brat but yeah basically like a irresponsible one uh for some time at least you know i don't know it, it, i don't know if anything makes sense but i think that's what i want like and if i have anything more to say i'll make probably another uh, video on it or something but again i'm hoping to get back to like consistently from this week you can expect last week i did like you know post on youtube and told i'll be consistent from like the last week but um i was down like i had fever and stuff like that i could not really do it but from this week on again every tuesday every friday you will have videos if you don't follow me on instagram follow me there as well because i do have a lot of content which i started filming for you to instagram as well so like there'll be content there as well and this video shout out goes to monica reddy thank you monica for always loving and supporting it absolutely means the world to me if you want to be part of next video shout out then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag aks and you can be a part so if you like this video and if you like what i do and if you watch till the end thank you so much make sure like share and subscribe to my channel ring the notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next video bye